So let's go over a muscle called the flexor carpi ulnaris. Now we're gonna go over some soft tissue releases for this. We're also gonna consider some fascial expansions, a few acupuncture points and some key areas. So we can actually release restrictions in the fascia and a few things in terms of osseous manipulation, which is also incredibly important. So first let's talk about exactly what the flexor carpi ulnaris does. It is the primary wrist flexor and ulnar deviator. It stabilizes the wrist during gripping and forceful movements of the hand. So really important in terms of just normal function, but also if you're playing any kind of sports, incredibly important. Now, when it comes to the origin insertion, we're talking about the medial epicondyle of the humerus, which is the humeral head, and we also have the ulnar head, which is the olecranon and posterior border of the ulnar. It inserts all the way down in terms of the pisiform, hook of the hamate, and the base of the fifth metacarpal. Its innervation in terms of nerve supply is the ulnar nerve, so we're talking C7, T1. Now, unlike most forearm flexors, which are the median nerve, this is the ulnar nerve. So, Mickey, I'm just going to get on here, kind of move it around a bit here. You okay? Yeah. So, not feeling too much there. Not bad. Okay. Take it out. Now, turn that oh. wrist around. Yep. Then you start to feel a lot more, don't you? Yep. And if you want to go closer to where it actually inserts on, I would move it this direction, taking it down from there. And you're going to feel that off the common flexor tendon. Good. You okay? Oh, yeah. But let's just kind of work our way down here. Okay, straighten it out and then move that, move that wrist around a bit here. Okay, there we go. So right up into flexion and around. Let me take it over here again. Oh. Right there. <laughs> Perfect. Let me take this down here a bit. And again. And again. Good. Now, there's several different techniques for you. When you get down close to the wrist here, you can take it down, kind of move it through a little bit there. But we also have the pronator quadratus, which crosses over on top of this, but I'm not going to worry about that too much because we're focusing on the uh, flexor carpi ulnaris. Take it down. Good. Right there. Okay. So in terms of getting into the area too, we want to make sure that the carpals are moving well. Line that up a bit there. Good. Doesn't seem to be any problems there really. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And let's make sure we got good mobility in the elbow there, which you do have good mobility. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So let's talk about a few points. So what I want to talk about is a few acupuncture points here. One is small intestine four. And we just go down to this area right here. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Is that tender? That's not bad actually. Not bad? No. Okay. So let's just take this area here and kind of move this around like so. Not too bad though, eh? No, not at all. So in terms of doing this, we have any problems in terms of inflammation, we want to increase blood flow or we want to free up any joint restrictions. This is actually a pretty good point to use. It works mm -hmm. really well. And if we're on there for about oh, 30 seconds to three minutes until we feel that release a bit, let's go to the back of the arm here. Good. So right up here, we're going to get an area with the elbows at 90 degrees. Excellent. <laughs> Which is triple heater 10. Now, let's get on there. Now, that is a different story. That one's, that one's pretty tight in there. So, again, we'd actually stimulate this, and this will help to reduce inflammation all around the entire elbow. So, it's going to affect everything, not just on the extensor side here, but on the flexors, too. Good. So, that's a pretty powerful point. Now, even though it's not on the ulnar side, but the radial side, we could get on large intestine 4, and that particular point it's going to help with decreasing overall pain, inflammation, increasing blood flow, and kind of dampening down the sympathetic nervous system and becoming more parasympathetic dominant. Again, 30 seconds to three minutes. Now, we have videos on each one of these points in great detail. So if you wanna learn more about it, just go to our TCM playlist and there'll be individual points, 
but there'll also be fascial expansions for the shoulders, the wrists, the arms, throughout the entire body. So take a look at those videos.